Hello everyone, and welcome to this video guide on how to exchange a pipette module. The pipette module is attached in the robot with two screws that fits into these two holes. We will need to loosen those two. It is also attached with these two wires here, and of course we will uh, have to remove those. Before deattaching the pipette module, it's important to turn off the power. I start off by pulling the pipette module towards me in a position I find comfortable. I then take my hex three screwdriver and start to unscrew this screw right here. You just need to untighten it far enough out so it's possible to pull it a little bit. In order to access the upper screw, I press down on the pipette module in order to make the upper screw accessible. Now that we have the upper screw available, you place your screwdriver and loosen the screw. And once you have done that, the pipette module will be loose as well. Before deattaching the pipette module, you need to remove these two wires attached to the robot first. Once the wires are removed, you can gently slide the pipette module to the right and towards yourself. Now you have physically deattached your pipette module. In order to reattach another module, you simply do the same thing, but reverse. Remember, if you change volume on your pipette module, you need to remove the tip ejector block. Once you have reattached your new pipette module, we need to update the software. You need to be logged in as the admin account, and from the main dashboard, you go to Setup. You select Local Pipette Specs, and here you select the pipette module it is regarding. You click on upload pipette specs to upload your pipette specs. And it will give you a pop-up that says it was successfully imported. The same thing goes for the liquid class. And now both of them are imported. You then go back to the main dashboard and go to setup and then you go to pipette setup here you can select your new pipette module and once you have chosen that you click save okay. then you get a pop-up saying the pipette change was successful once you have reattached your new pipette module you need to check that the alignment is all right if not consult our alignment guide once you're happy with the alignment, we need to do an XYZ calibration. To do the XYZ calibration, please follow our guide on how to do so. The next test we need to do is to set the dispense tip position. In order to make it easy for ourselves, I recommend putting on the tips on the pipette module manually. From the main dashboard, you choose low level control. Then you click connect and home. The robot will let you know on the status when it's done homing. From the drop down menu here, you find the option called set dispense tip position. In this case, it is the right pipette, so it's pipette one. When it is, once it's done homing, you can click start and the robot would start moving and place itself above the trash. Here you can lower it on syringe one until it has dropped all the tips. Once all the tips are off, you click stop and the position for ejecting the tips is now saved. The next test is to set the mist tip threshold. Just like before, we go to low level control from the main dashboard and connect and home. In the drop down menu, instead of set dispense tip position, we select detect mist tip threshold again for pipette one. This will pick up the tips four times and this will be done in position 11. Once you're ready, Click the start button. Yeah. 
Now all there is left is test the pipette module in an actual program. You can use the quick start program from the admin account or you can use your own. That's it. Now you know how to exchange a pipette module.